Apple's iPhone Say 4 launch in 2025 marks the end of its partnership with two LCD suppliers as it looks to completely transition to OLED. The iPhone Say 4 will be the last model from Apple to gravitate towards OLED technology, resulting in the end of LCD orders and a new beginning for the company's low-cost successor. Unfortunately, this transition spells bad news for two suppliers who previously had a mammoth market share for LCD panels found in iPhones. Japan Display and Sharp had a combined 70% market share in the iPhone LCD space, but the iPhone Say 4 launch next year will bring that progress to a complete halt. The low-cost model is expected to enter mass production in October this year, with an unveiling set to happen in early 2025. One of the biggest differences between the iPhone Say 4 and previous models is that the upcoming version will resemble an iPhone 14 and will sport various specification changes, such as an LTPS OLED screen coupled with a USB-C port, Face ID, and more. This design and hardware overhaul will come at a cost, with Nikkei Asia reporting that Apple will sever its partnership with two LCD suppliers, Japan Display and Sharp. Both LCD makers had a combined 70% market share for LCD-based iPhones, and with the iPhone Say 4, their business is expected to come to a standstill, at least in this particular category. It is unconfirmed whether the two manufacturers will transition towards OLED production or consolidate their losses in the LCD space by searching for additional clients. For the iPhone Say 4, Apple is expected to rely on Chinese OLED producer Bo after the latter seemingly outbids Samsung to win display orders for the low-cost model. Making up the remainder of OLED shipments is LG, who is also said to supply Apple with LTPO panels for the higher-end iPhone 16 models. Back in 2015, Japan Display and Sharp were at the top of the mountain, enjoying a healthy revenue stream as both supply chain partners delivered nearly 200 million LCDs annually for iPhones. Sadly, that figure has dropped to around 20 million units in 2023. These firms are now scaling back their businesses and looking to dive into other categories, such as automotive, to offset losses.